I'm going to be talking about is the actual chord progression. So the chords are B minor, G major, A major, D major, and then A major 7 with a C sharp in the bass. And then it starts all over again. Now in terms of the actual arpeggios, what I'm doing is I'm following up those chords with uh, different arpeggios, with the same arpeggios as the chords. So for example, I have the B minor chord and I'm going to follow it up with a B minor arpeggio. When I move to the G chord, I'm going to play a G major arpeggio. A major, A major arpeggio, etc, etc. Now, what I'm doing, I'm, I'm, I'm varying the different arpeggios I'm using in terms of, of shapes and, and length. So, I could play a, a three string arpeggio, like this one, or I could play a five string arpeggio, like this one. And that's all I'm doing conceptually in terms of the actual arpeggios. Now, as far as the sweep picking technique goes, what I'm doing is, there's all types of different sweep picking techniques. I'm just going to show you one of the ones I like, especially for getting that, that shred sound. Now, what I do is, I start with an upstroke, I follow it up with a pull off, and then I keep playing upstrokes until I land on the lowest note of the pattern. So, up, pull off, up, and then this is going to be the lowest note of that pattern, so it's going to be a downstroke. After playing that first downstroke, the rest of the notes are going to be downstrokes until I reach the highest note of the pattern. So, now, once I get to the highest note, which is this one, it's going to be an upstroke. And the pattern is done, the, the picking pattern is done, so everything else after that is just repetition. So it's. Now, that same picking pattern is going to be applied to whichever um, amount of strings or the, the, the length of the arpeggio or of the shape that you want to play. So let's say you want to play a four string arpeggio or arpeggio shape, it's going to be the same thing. Keep going up, so up, pull off, up, up, and then once I, I reach the fourth string I start going down, so, and the cycle repeats. It's going to be the same thing for, for any type of arpeggio, and I urge you to go out and and try out the different sweet picking arpeggios or sweet picking techniques or patterns that you might find. I also urge you to create your own your own um, chord progressions and then get the different um, arpeggio shapes and I don't know write out your own practice routines or exercises. Okay, so that's it for this video. Don't forget to comment below, hit the like button, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Thank you.